so guys we had a wonderful wonderful couple of days in nigeria megan is now a princess of the realm but and harry and megan they probably have returned back to california montecito probably we're not 100 percent sure maybe they went on vacation who knows either way they are out of nigeria and they are somewhere they might be home in montecito we don't know all we know is that we from the time that wonderful tour happened or trip or whatever you want to call it when they were done and they saw how successful it was it seemed like somebody decided you know what this is time now to sabotage to tell some lies whatever about harry and megan and archwell their business so and I was highly suspicious of this when I saw it and when I heard about it, about them being delinquent in some of their um, their charitable organization. They're, they're being delinquent. But guys, the governor of California, I think this is the governor of California, <laughs> guys, I could be wrong. But either way, this guy uh, set things uh, straight. has been Listen placed on the Archwell Foundation. I'm here at a behavioral health site, a mental health site. Archwell Foundation, uh, run by Meghan Markle, Markle and, and Prince Harry, uh, do extraordinary work, particularly women and girls, but notably uh, around mental health. Uh, and I just want folks to know, not only are they in compliance, it was a technical paperwork issue that was wildly over uh, hyped. Uh, and with respect, I hope people that ran those headlines um, run uh, this headline that uh, uh, it was a very typical technical issue around paperwork that persists for so many others as well and they're in full compliance uh, and uh, they're a celebrated organization that does great work in the state of California so I want to clarify that because that's important and I, I just thought uh, there was a, uh, a little bit uh, of a piling on uh, that was deeply unfair unbelievable amount of attention uh that and there we have it guys the guy did not mince his words he said exactly what it is and he's hoping that all those outlets who were celebrating because they had something on harry and megan to i don't know what they thought they were was going to happen but they had something to bash them for all the people who were celebrating, you know, the Kinsey Schofield of it all and the Angela Leviathan, that Kinsey, Kinsey Schofield crazy. Like to me, she's just nuts. And all those people who were being incredibly racist, there was this panel, guys, I saw with this guy and he was being incredibly racist. When I tell you, he, I don't know. I don't know how these people think that they can get away with seeing stuff sometimes, but either way, either way and there was a black guy well or a mixed race guy on the panel and he was trying to kind of you know make this guy understand but he didn't want to understand because it's Meghan Markle because when it's Meghan Markle it's like common sense goes out of the just goes out of the window completely completely goes out of the window but either way either way we're talking about the lies and the blowing out of proportion in this of it all. That's basically what it is about this delinquent check business. And apparently it was a check for like two or three hundred dollars or something, something crazy like that. They are accusing a million of dollar venture of being delinquent because of a two or three hundred dollar check guys it is ridiculous it spells sabotage and somebody really does need to get fired in my opinion whoever allowed this kind of craziness to happen on harry and megan's watch i would get rid of them to be honest i would get rid of them but you know it's up to harry and megan and people were pretty much bashing them as they normally do for the slightest thing when they don't understand the situation they don't understand what's going on they were ready to be bashing them. There was like a hundred million headlines about this. And now today that I, guys is, I'm, I, I'm not, sh like, listen, the guy, the, the governor of, of um, California, he just said, he just said everything you need to know. Okay. And 
that's why I put it here. I made sure I put it here as well because these people, they never, whenever they have to correct something, they never do properly. They never do it properly. So, and of course, you know, the people who like to believe lies, they will run with this as well as they normally do. But I'm glad that he came out and said what he had to say about Archwell and about Harry and Meghan. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about. This, this needed a separate, completely separate video. And I will be back in no time. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. Bye. That uh, has been placed on the Archwell Foundation. I'm here at a behavioral health site, a mental health site. Archwell Foundation uh, run by Meghan Mark Markle and, and Prince Harry uh, do extraordinary work, particularly women and girls, but notably uh, around mental health. Uh, and I just want folks to know, not only are they in compliance, there's a technical paperwork issue that was wildly over uh, hyped. Uh, and with respect, I hope people that ran those headlines um, run uh, this headline that uh, uh, it was a very typical technical issue around paperwork that persists for so many others as well and they're in full compliance uh, and uh, they're a celebrated organization that does great work in the state of California so I want to clarify that because that's important and I, I just thought uh, there was a, uh, a little bit uh, of a piling on uh, that was deeply unfair unbelievable amount of attention uh, that